So I made a video saying that 90% of mental health disorders are coming from the stomach, uh, the intestines, the bacteria balance in your intestine. And I proved it by showing some scientific papers and then some uh, culprit bacteria that if they are high or too low, your mind will go crazy. So um, somebody is now asking how then can the bacteria be balanced? I suggested initially FMT, all right? But let me make more suggestions. These are a list of foods that are good for your gut, especially your gut, especially your gut, okay? Look at the full list. If you're having mood disorders, you can incorporate this into, especially look at onions. Can you see onions? This is leek. All right, this is used in cooking. It's like vegetable. Kombucha. Okay, Jerusalem artichoke and so on. Remember that I'm not a doctor. Speak with your doctor before you try any of this or anything I'm saying, okay? But bananas, as you can see, yogurt. I take yogurt a lot because I understand how powerful it is. Yogurt also in traditional medicine, all right? Herbal, herbalism, all right? Is used to treat candida, yeast infection, unsweetened yogurt. If you're eating yogurt, you should for avoid sweetened yogurt because you don't know what they added to it to make it sweet that thing they added to it is what's making people fat when they eat it yogurt is supposed to make you lose weight but when you go to some of these restaurants and you buy the sweetened yogurt or what they call it parfait all right and it's sweet the culprit there is that sugary stuff that you don't know that thing is what is adding you weight so the best way to take yogurt is get the unsweetened one then get honey add honey all right to it and mix it you can even add some extra fruit cut some bananas whatever extra fruit and make your own parfait at home you eat it um, every once in a while very very nice and nutritious when it comes to treating yeast infection i'm not gonna say how but they take the unsweetened yogurt and put it inside something and then it uh, eats up the yeast so uh, just discuss with your doctor all right so a balanced gut microbiome can be maintained by eating a variety of fresh whole foods especially from plant sources these foods can contain prebiotics and probiotics now if you go to any pharmacy and ask them for prebiotics and probiotics they can give you some tablets all right some pills that already contains uh, these things now those pills are rated so the more expensive they are usually the more powerful they are all right and usually you can you have to take them every day for one month two months or three months so even without all these foods you can always uh, get uh, uh, supplements too all right remember that supplements is not a replacement for food food is the best okay here are some extra foods especially fermented foods okay fruits and vegetables now when people are mentally crazy it's usually because their gut microbiome is not balanced and as far as i'm concerned you can trace that to their eating what they eat so think about it this way somebody goes and smokes a substance or drinks a certain um uh, what do you call it what they call alcohol these days which we know to be poison now right when they drink this poison it goes into their stomach and at, annihilates a certain section or population of certain uh, good bacteria in their stomach and now they are depressed every time they are telling you they are depressed they're depressed now to not be depressed they have to drink more of that or smoke more of that before you know it one day they go crazy some of these things are so powerful that it can turn you crazy in one day all right so if somebody is facing any of these disorders all right uh, make sure that you balance their diet that's the key balance their diet all right and of course, speak with your doctor about this last procedure, which I mentioned in the other video. Fecal matter transfer. That is transferring poop from a, a, a healthy person into a sick person. Because you know, our intestine is poop that is there. When we eat, our stomach grinds it, all right? Pushes the rest to our intestine. So it's poop that is there. But that's a brain. The bacteria there and the living cells there make up your second and third brain, small and large intestine. They control you. They control your emotions. 90% of positive mood is being controlled by the bacteria in your stomach. So if somebody is always depressed, thinking that they want to end it all, uh, discuss this procedure with your doctor. They already know how to do it. But I want to show you something else. I used to be bald, as you can see. My head is shining here. Look at here. I have hair. 
and I'm still growing it. This is month four of growing back my hair using this. So um, if you want to know the recipes I, I have here, including what you can see here, that I used to regrow my hair, uh, inbox me. I'll give you the list. It's not free. If you're looking for show free, go elsewhere. All right. But it actually works because I've tried many products. It didn't work until I went into deep research and came up with the right combination after many tries. So take this and uh, use it to regrow your hair. No need to be carrying bald hair like I used to have carry before. It's not just that. I've started growing extra hair here. This is my first time in my life of having extra hair here. If you look here, you'll see that this from here to here is new. So I'm growing extra hair. My my edges are coming back look at new hair this is where my edge used to be new hair have come here also look at there's one centimeter of new hair so it's like my hairline is coming down small 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 very soon it will reach <laughs> make sure you follow me okay click this plus sign follow me click this uh to share because somebody facing depression might be on your list and they are thinking of ending it all they need to know that it's a bacteria that is speaking to them. Those voices they are hearing are not demons, okay? They are bacteria in their stomach and they need to be uh, treated, okay?